There's a planet in our galaxy that scientists are really excited about. It's probably rocky and could have liquid water flowing on its surface, an essential ingredient for life. There's only one problem. It is no longer news that the James Webb Space Telescope is set on a mission to investigate mysteries in our solar system and distant planets orbiting other stars. It will also explore the intriguing architecture and origins of our universe and our position in it. When NASA revealed the first JWST images, President Joe Biden correctly described the project as a new window into the history of our universe. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson vowed that humanity will soon have a whole new perspective on the universe unlike anything we've ever seen. Several months later, the JWST made the most shocking discovery ever. It caught a glimpse of city lights on an exoplanet. Does this imply that there's life out there somewhere in the cosmos? Stay tuned as we delve deeper. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Standing by for terminal count. A tout de DDO, attention pour les deux comptes final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage. Décollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Trajectory nominal. With the launch of the JWST, astronomers are expected to discover signs of life in the atmospheres of distant planets and galaxies. Although they had yet to learn that the first photographs from the JWST would change how we understand the universe. This telescope is sufficiently strong to observe and image exoplanets rather than only infer their existence, as practically every other telescope has previously done. For the first time, researchers used NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to establish the presence of an exoplanet, a planet that circles another star. The planet, officially known as LHS 475b, is nearly the same size as ours, measuring 99% of Earth's diameter. The astronomers also verified that the planet completes its orbit in under two days, which was revealed almost instantly by Webb's exact light curve. Although LHS 475b is the closest planet to its star, its red dwarf star is less than half the warmth of the Sun. Thus, the researchers believe it may still have an atmosphere. Kevin Stevenson and Jacob Lustig Jaeger of the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, lead the study team. After carefully evaluating objects of interest from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite, which indicated the planet's existence, the team decided to examine it using Webb. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph recorded the planet simply and unambiguously with just two transit observations. There's no doubt that the planet exists. Webb's pristine data validates it, Lustig Jaeger added. The fact that it's a small rocky planet is also impressive for the observatory, Stevenson said. JWST can observe light reflected off the exoplanet surface without a detailed image. RV Loeb predicted how JWST may utilize this capacity to view extraterrestrial cities long before it was operational. He based his estimations on Proxima b, the closest Earth-like exoplanet. We can view the exoplanet's day and night sides by photographing it at various points in its orbits. We may then compare how bright and dim we anticipate it to be. If there's a difference, we can attribute it to artificial light from an extraterrestrial society. Only Webb can characterize the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets among all operational telescopes. By examining the transmission spectrum of the planet's atmosphere, scientists sought to determine what is in it. Although the evidence indicates that this is an Earth-sized terrestrial planet, it does not yet have an atmosphere. The data from the observatory are stunning, said Erin May of the John Hopkins University Laboratory. 
The telescope is so sensitive it can easily detect a wide range of molecules, but we can't yet make definitive conclusions about the planet's atmosphere. Although the team cannot determine what is present, they can state what is not. There are some terrestrial-type atmospheres that we can rule out, Lustig Jaeger noted. It cannot have a thick methane-dominated atmosphere like Saturn's moon Titan. While it's feasible that the planet has no atmosphere, various atmospheric compositions, such as pure carbon dioxide atmosphere, have not been ruled out. A 100% carbon dioxide atmosphere is so much more compact that it becomes very difficult to detect, said Lustig Jaeger. More accurate measurements are necessary for the researchers to discriminate between a pure carbon dioxide environment and no atmosphere. The team wants to collect more spectra with subsequent observations. JWST can discover an exoplanet if its night side is sufficiently urbanized to emit 5% of the light of its day side. In contrast, our brilliant city lights barely illuminate the night side of the Earth by 0.01% of the brightness we have during the day. However, due to a quirk in how modern telescopes work, if these city lights on Proxima b were 1,000 times narrower band than the star, meaning the range of wavelengths of light from the city lights is 1,000 times smaller than the range of wavelengths from the star, the JWST could only identify 0.01% illumination. The unexplained light identified by the extraordinarily powerful telescope in one of the photographs might be the proof we need to determine that there is life on another planet. Several astronomers are skeptical that aliens exist in the vicinity of any of the exoplanets seen by JWST since we should have detected their radio transmissions by now. This, however, requires that these aliens duplicate our society, which is not a given. Webb also discovered that the planet is a few hundred degrees warmer than Earth, which might lead experts to believe that the world is more like Venus, which has a carbon dioxide atmosphere and is permanently wrapped in heavy clouds. We're at the forefront of studying small, rocky exoplanets, said Lustig Jaeger. We've only scratched the surface of what their atmosphere could look like. We're undoubtedly approaching a new age in astronomy. Even if we don't uncover extraterrestrial cities, we will learn more about these intriguing far-off planets. We may even find out why there aren't any aliens, explain why the universe is so silent, and solve one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Alternatively, we are on the verge of making a discovery that will alter the path of human history. Which would you rather? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching. In some places, city lights resemble solitary stars in the night sky. In other places, dense clusters of galaxies. The satellite can even distinguish brightly lit boats that line Egypt's Nile River. And the massive flames from gas flares produced as a byproduct of oil and gas exploration in the Middle East.